Your very kind words, I appreciate them, but this really is a team effort. It truly is. I say often that this is a community issue. It requires the entire community to respond, and we are clearly doing that. My number one priority since the day I announced my candidacy was to do everything that I possibly can to help combat this heroin uh, opioid scourge. This is the single greatest health crisis that we are faced with in this state, the single most pervasive issue that is affecting communities throughout this great state. As I travel, I don't care if I'm in the North Country, I'm in the most western part of this state or on the tip of Long Island. Uh, this is an issue that is affecting so many people and it is poisoning the heart and soul of New Yorkers across the state, regardless of where we are. And protecting our communities from this epidemic is not a partisan issue. I have said that from the very, very beginning. And there is certainly no time to play politics on this issue uh, while people are dying. Whether we're in Western New York, in the North Country, in Long Island, as we travel, we say the same thing over and over again. The state level, I think we've made some really um, impressive improvements, if you will, in a bipartisan fashion. Uh, regardless of our politics, uh, we certainly come together. Uh, this year, we've invested $214 million at the state level to address this particular issue. It's $25 million more uh, than we did last year. So we're certainly making uh, good improvements. Uh, as, Co-chair of the Senate's task force on heroin and opioid addiction allows me to travel the state and listen uh, to issues, to people who are dealing with this epidemic on a daily basis. And if anybody suggests moving forward that their community is not being impacted by this issue, they have their heads buried in the sand. Very, very deeply buried in the sand. Uh, one thing that has been a recurring theme in dealing with this issue is that we need available treatment options for those who need help. So today's announcement, uh, this RFP is the, is the first step in repurposing the Broome Developmental Center facility to provide more addiction treatment options in our community. And using a, a very large and versatile complex like BDC is something uh, for something as important for addiction treatment is something that I have long been publicly advocating for. Uh, not only myself, but collectively as a community. Everybody standing behind me believes in this. Uh, am I disappointed that this facility is, is vacant or portions thereof? I certainly am. Am I disappointed that as a state we have um, walked away from some developmental disability obligations uh, that we have? I certainly am. Or mental health services? I am. But we have an opportunity here to work collectively as a community and bring much needed services uh, to our community and repurpose this building because it's the right thing to do. I too want to thank Oasis. I want to thank the governor, uh, Kim Myers. I want to thank you specifically. You have been a, a, a stalwart advocate on this particular issue from, from the very beginning. And it takes a community, folks. It truly does. And listen, I am keenly aware that there are some concerns uh, by, by some about doing a project like this in our particular community. Uh, I'll make two points on any concern that is raised, that I am 100% committed uh, to working with anyone who has a concern to address those and find uh, solutions to their concerns. But more importantly, I stand before you and everybody behind me, and I am 100% committed to joining my partners and ensuring that this becomes a reality. And if I can say three very, very important words, if you listen to nothing else I have said uh, this morning. On dealing with an issue like this, it's about putting people before politics. People before politics.